One of my companies is called Cufflinks.com. We're in the jewelry business. We sell cufflinks. We sell them online. It's a big business for what it is. It makes makes good money. And everything I talk about and everything I do in my business in my businesses is about making money and learning and understanding and competing. I'm not a motivational speaker. I'm not here to excite you about all this. My excitement from within is business. My dad was a professor. My sister was a professor. I'm kind of a professor, but I teach how to make money and how I've done it and how I've been fairly successful at it. Um, and so the ADD kicks in, and so I back up to go forward. I own cufflinks.com. I made a serious error in judgment, and I went to the jewelry show and asked my wife if she wanted to go. $20,000 later, we come back to Houston, and I didn't buy any cufflinks, but she sure bought a lot of jewelry. <laughs> One of the things I do to keep my mind going is to invent and always come up with something new and exciting. And I've come up with something that got a lot of press in the last two weeks. Uh, and I would consider it in this audience to be a speaker's best friend. Uh, there's one other gentleman, I think Mike, is wearing cufflinks. I wear cufflinks whenever I can. And we came up with a USB cufflink. Now, this, cuff, this product right here will hold every speech you've ever made. And you have one on each wrist. All right? I'm going to pass it around. It's very cool. I'm very proud of it. We just came out with it this last week. This last week. And uh, it's a very, it's the most successful item our company's ever launched. Now, you would ask cufflinks. Why would anybody be in the cufflink business? Um, I'm one of the early pioneers on the Internet. Uh, I'm lucky enough to have gotten into the Internet in 1994. And I figured out very quickly that there were two things that the Internet meant in business. And one is niches are the best place to be. Own a niche. So cufflinks is a niche. Bow ties would be a niche, right? Shoes would be a niche. Uh, keywords, what we both all know as keywords. You'd laugh, but cufflinks.com, this little nothing, it's five people, does four and a half million dollars a year with 20% margins. And they're cufflinks, cufflinks. So that got me kind of thinking, okay, let's, let's broaden the concept. Um, company in town here I've invested in, I'm on the board, and... You have to understand the, the area I play in, in in the business world is I go to conventions for entrepreneurs uh, that want to learn how to be in business, that want to learn how to make money, that want to learn how to use the Internet. And I'm a very, very big believer in the Internet space because it's going to affect everyone in a very big way, in a profound way. And so that's where I spend most of my time is teaching people about the Internet, how to make money on the Internet, how to do business on the Internet. The second area I played in early on was domain names. Anyone know domain names? Um, I bought, my sister taught me about the internet as a professor at the University of Texas. Uh, I sat with her and tried to figure out where do you get those names? And she's like, well, what do you mean? I said, those names, those domain names, those things you're telling me about, how do you get them? And so we started looking up what was available and we looked up Hertz and Avis. One was gone, and one was still available. So I'm thinking, I must be wrong. She says, well, what are you thinking? I said, well, why don't we go buy up all those names? That'd be smart. Well, the idea was right, but flawed. You don't want to own names of companies, because that's a trademark violation. But you do want to own generic names. And so, as, as Jim mentioned, I have a lot of those generic names in my portfolio as an investment. But a lot of them we've built out. So we have a company in town that you would never believe that makes money, but it's called blinds.com. We sell blinds, mini blinds, custom mini blinds that you measure, that you fill in the form, that we, sh we, manu we have third-party manufacture, and then we drop ship it to you. Now, anybody have any idea how much blinds? Let's, let's back up. Any idea how much, you do all know what pay-per-click means? 
where you advertise on Google or Yahoo to get business. That company spends, let's back up because I want a better vignette. In, in the retail world, people take a, 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 an office, uh, a, a store in the Galleria or Memorial City or any other mall. And they sit there and they pay their rent, their utilities and their people and all the overhead. And they wait for people to walk by. And they hope they'll walk into their store and they'll purchase. That's not real efficient, but it's how we grew up. In the world of the Internet, you sit there and you put up a business and then you buy eyeballs to come to your website. So you go to Google, you go to Yahoo, you go to Bing, you go to Ask, you go to social media, and you find ways to get more people to come to your website. This is what we're experts in. Because we don't have to sit there and wait for people to walk by our store and maybe come in. A hundred percent of the people that come to our store are interested in blinds or cufflinks or summer camps or tickets or whatever the, the website may be. I get approached, I do a little venture capital investing, I get approached to invest in a company called No Brainer Blinds. A friend of mine says, go meet with this guy, he's smart. So I meet with the guy, and he's very smart, and I say, I will, I'll do it, but we have to buy the name blinds.com before I'll do that, because I'm a very big believer that mind share is what this world is. In the old world, we invested in real estate, and what were the three words everybody knew about real estate, it was all location, location, location. In the world of the internet, it's mind share, mind share, mind share. They must remember who you are. They must know who you are the minute they think of it. To prove that point, in the old world, when you want to buy flowers and you have to dial a phone number, what number pops in your head? It's a toll-free number to buy flowers. 1-800-Flowers. So I use that mindset to go out and buy domains and then build companies around the, that initial asset, that base, to build from within. So everyone approaches businesses differently. My point was, if I own that domain name and I have that base and I have eyeballs and mind share of people coming to my websites, I have a better chance of that working to get more business than my competitor. So there might be 75 companies or 100 plus named Blinds something. We own blinds.com because it gave us a major competitive advantage in a world where so much commerce is being done online and we can compete against our, our friends. Blinds.com. I want to go through five different types of companies because they all signify different ways to play the game. At the bottom, you have a domain name. It sits there. It doesn't do anything. You can do what's called parking. You park that name by pointing it to Google, and Google will pay you for that traffic. So I have mutual funds. Mutual funds makes $3,000 a month. We don't do anything with it. We point it to Google. Google sends us a check. Because it has so many eyeballs that go to that domain name, they come back with revenue. So I get a 50-50 split with Google on that money. Uh, above that, you have a website that is virtual. Uh, e-tickets. We own e-tickets. It's a ticket site. And all we do is point it to a ticket site and they send us a check. The, the revenue comes from the eyeballs of the tickets that they sell. Above that, and I, I do this above that because I see it as a pyramid, above that you have uh, summer camps. We have a site called summercamps.com. If any of you have seen it, you're putting your kids through summer camp. We have one person that works at that site and they sell ads on the site, and that site has nothing but one person selling ads. Above that, we have cufflinks.com. We have a physical product, a cufflink, but we have five people, and we operate online, and we sell cufflinks. But the big kahuna is blinds.com. It's at the top of the pyramid. It's a real website, similar to an Amazon or any of the others, but we sell one thing, and we're the biggest in the world selling blinds. Now, I usually ask this question, and I, I never get the answers are, are all over the board. But when I ask someone, how, much blinds, how many blinds do you think we sell a year or in value of blinds? The usual answer is 5,000, 10,000. Blinds.com does $85 million a year selling blinds. We have no blinds. We have no inventory. We have no headaches of warehousing and shipping 